Today we will be crocheting this easy water bottle holder. The materials that I'm using today is this Lion Brand Yarns Just Hemp. It is a five weight bulky yarn. There is 93 yards in here and it is 100% hemp. I am also using a five millimeter or an H crochet hook. You will also need a stitch marker. Please note this is for a 32 ounce bottle. Now to begin, we do want to start with a magic ring or a magic loop. If you do not know how to do this, I will have a link right above that you can click on and it will show you how to do that. Otherwise, you can do a chain three and join to your beginning chain. Once you have your loop, you would want to place six single crochets into the center loop. So this yarn is a little tricky to work with because it does have lots of strands. So just take your time when doing this part. Go ahead and place six in your loop and then meet me back here. Now I actually ended up going with eight single crochets. So go ahead and add two more single crochets right there into the center. And then you want to pull your ring tight. Now at this point, we're going to increase. So we're gonna just go into our first stitch here and place two single crochets. Now you wanna make sure that you're going through all of the strands here and to place one single crochet. And then you want to make sure that you place a stitch marker right here into the first stitch. So go ahead and do your increase rows then into the same stitch, you are going to place one more single crochet. So now we have two stitches into one, one here. Now into each one of these, you're gonna go ahead and place two single crochets into every single stitch. At the end of this row, you'll have a total of 16 single crochets. Moving on to the next round, we are going to be placing, this is for round three, We'll place one single crochet into the first stitch and replace our marker. And then into the following stitches where we will be increasing. So we will place two single crochets into that space. Now the biggest trick that I have for this yarn is just don't work too tightly. Try to make sure that your tension is a little bit loose and it will make working with this yarn so much easier. So then into the following stitch, you'll place one single crochet and then into the next, you'll do two. Go ahead and work the increase for round three, and I will meet you back here for round four. Round four is also an increase row. So into the first stitch, you'll place one single crochet and replace your marker, just like we do in every single row. And then into the following stitch, you will place one single crochet. And then into the third stitch, you will place two single crochets into there. So go ahead and work that for your increase row on round four, and I will meet you back here for round five. Round five is going to be a little bit different. We are going to be working only into the back loops. So as you see, we have two loops here. We are only going to be placing our hook through the back loop right here. And then we're going to place a single crochet into that first stitch and then replace our marker. Now at this point we are done doing our increases but we are going to be only working into the back loops only into every single stitch around. So go ahead and do that. Again, we're not going through both loops. We're just going through the back. Go ahead and do that for round five and meet me back here for round six. At this point for round six and moving up, we are going to be working through both uh, loops like we normally do, if I can get this to go, <laughs> and then replace your stitch marker. I'm going to be doing a few rows of single crochets through both loops. I'm going to work those rows and I will let you know kind of exactly how many I did, and then you guys can go ahead and work those rows as well. I went ahead and did seven rows of single crochet. Um, in total, you should have eight rows, um, you know, after we did the back loop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to start working some double crochets, but we're gonna do this a little bit differently. Uh, we can set the stitch marker aside for now. And into the first stitch, we are going to place a slip stitch. So we're going to yarn over and we are just going to pull through like that. Now you want to chain up 
three. It's going to count as a double crochet and a chain one. Now, if you would like to put your stitch marker into where your slip stitch is, just so you know that we will not be working in that stitch. Now, we're going to skip the next stitch right here, and into the following stitch, we're going to place a double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over and go into that space, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, and yarn over and go through two. Now we will chain one. We are going to skip, uh, skipping the next stitch, we are going, skipping this stitch here, we're gonna go into the next one here and place a double crochet. And then you will chain one, skip one, and place another double crochet. So go ahead and do that all the way around, and I will meet you back here. Now we will end with a chain one. We will skip our last stitch. Like I said, we do not work into this space here. And we're going to work a slip stitch into the um, second chain. So remember we chained three, but into the second chain, we're going to go ahead and work a slip stitch. Chain up one. And now we are actually just going to place one single crochet back into that same space. You can grab your stitch marker, go ahead and move it up, and now you know where your first single crochet is. Now we are going to place a single crochet into the chain one space. We're going to place a single crochet on top of the double crochet, a single crochet into the space, a single crochet on top of the double crochet, and we are just going to do that all the way around. This is going to be a two row repeat. Um, so go ahead and work that and meet me back here. We will end by placing one single crochet into the last chain one space. Now where we have our stitch marker at, we will go into that first single crochet that we made because that was our first stitch. We are going to make a slip stitch. And again, if you would like to place your marker on this row so that you know where your slip stitch is and that we're not working in that one. Now we will chain three, one, two, and three, just like we did before. Now we are going to skip this stitch and into the following stitch, place a double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, go into the following, and place a double crochet. Chain one, skip, and you will continue to do uh, rows one and two. You will repeat these. Um, I will let you know exactly how many repeat rows I do in just a moment so that you guys can follow along. This is what it should be looking like. I went ahead and did one, two, three, four, five rows in total uh, with single crochets in the middle, so a total of 10 rows. I then did one extra row of single crochet right here. Now what we want to do is slip stitch into our first stitch and then we will cut off. So right here into the first stitch, we will slip stitch, chain up one, leave a bit of a tail and cut your yarn. Now here's where we finished off. Now I wanna move over. We're gonna have one, two, and three. And this is where we are going to attach so that we can start doing the strap. Now, because it is going to be a strap, I like to make a knot right here. And this is where we will attach and we're gonna actually chain up two chains. So here's one and two. We will count this as a stitch. Now going into the next stitch, we will place a double crochet into the third stitch right here. We will place a double crochet. So now we are working on the strap, guys. Into the next stitch, let's see here, right here, we are going to place a, a stitch. So we're gonna work a total of six double crochets. We have one, two, three, four, five, and one more for six. At this point, you can make your strap as long as you would like. Um, I'm going to chain up two because the chain two does count as a stitch and I will turn my work. 
From here, you will not be working into this space, but into the next space, you will work a double crochet. So you will have five double crochets and then the chain is going to count as your sixth stitch. So when you get all the way back here, you want to make sure that you work um, into your chain and then work back and forth as many stitches as you would like. And then we will attach to the opposite side. So go ahead and do that and I will show you what it looks like when I get done. I went ahead and I think I did like 17 rows. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, I did 20 rows. So go ahead and cut your yarn and finish with a slip stitch or pull that through. Next, you will want to thread your tapestry needle. Then you will want to figure out where the center is. Um, I'm just going to kind of eyeball this, but you guys can count your stitches. Um, and then you simply want to put this through. And then we are going to just simply weave back and forth to sew these two parts together. And that is all you need to do for this, uh, for this little water bottle holder. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's go ahead and take a look at the picture of the final product here. I hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.